try to like, you know, use a visual. So this light coming not straight to the face, but a little lower. And because we get the reflections here, so we can conveniently get it. So we get some bouncing light on the face. And same time, because softbox is huge and it's pretty close. So giving like very good like facial definition of the structure of the face. On the portrait, it's most important, not get flat face, but get a structure. So this soft box, we're gonna move a little bit, an angle from the straight position. We start with the straight to see how it looks, a little bit flat, then we move on angle. This on that one, depend of the hair light. But the thing is about the studio, we're gonna do one by one. So get a proper hair light, you have to switch off all other lights and start with the backlight. So you can, you can get probably, what's probably gonna get? You're gonna get just a contour, just a black face shape, but you can control very tiny, very exact, where is the hair light gonna position and the amount of this light. So my advice, when you do head shots, start with a rim or hair light like this. So, because if you get too much of this, you get the worst mistake you get from the back, you can get ears and the lights, you get red ears like this. It's the stupidest like things I ever saw, like you know, like this with the red ears or because the backlight's too intense. <laughs> and then, like headshots, it's like I saw the people get a headshot like this. Wow! <laughs> like you know, it's look looks like you know, cartoon, like you know, it's you. <laughs> yeah, th this is you, like you know. So you have to be very careful with the amount of the backlight. All right. So what I did right now, I reduced this one half away. We get there. All right. So I set this one here, so we can get like modeling light, so we can get more. But we get too intense for now. But we can see it. We can see it right now. Okay. This is pretty good. This. Uh, I'm gonna need another lens. 70 millimeters in full frame, it's not really good for shooting headshots. It's a little short, full frame. 70 millimeters in crop factor is fine. If you want to use this, like, you know, but you have 70 millimeters by, by itself. So, but if you get prime lens 85 and full frame, it's probably what what's you're going to need. Okay. Let me get a test shot of this. Checking. Uh, you see, I get a little dark, but very interesting lighting. So I just have to open up a little bit. Let's see what we get. Just follow the flow, whatever you get. One more time. That's a better one. A little bit harsh and overexposed here. So what's we gonna do? I'm gonna reduce this light a little bit. Okay, let me let me try again. Mm -hmm. So angle of following this, get it, even the angle of like reflecting. So I have to calculate the angle of the light and angle of your reflectors. When we shoot in backstage, we ask the model just hold, just hold the reflector a little bit like this. Model can hold the reflector, just get more soft shadows on on the face. It's not main light, but they're helping you avoid the hard shadows, especially in female portraits. Let's do it again. Okay. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. It's not so bad. Little, little harsh, but maybe it's my lighting. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. Good. Hold it. Good. You see, Alia doing very great eye contact. She's flirting with your camera, which is like giving you like really good definition. Let's do the hat shot, okay. Alia, now your time to make a faces. <laughs> a little, <laughs> okay, 2.8 right now. Yes, good. Try to keep straight nose to the lighting device. Yes, great, great, great. More. Eye contact, more a little bit sexy inside. Yeah, that's great, 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 great. Good, 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 good. Hold it. Hold on. One more. Eyes. Up. Good. A little bit this way. Eyes to me. Something like this. 
So it's what we get, this very nice background, this gradation with a greed and beauty dish. So we create some nice, and we get some hair light here from the strip, and get bouncing over an octagon in the front. So possibly like very nice setup with a three lights and a reflector. So four headshots is extremely good. <laughs> Something like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit close aperture. Hold on. Four. Good. Play with the hair. More hair relaxed, more neck. Yeah, and that's great. Yeah, that's great. Stay, stay, stay like this. Good. Uh huh. One more. Uh huh. That's great. One more. Good. Check in. Beautiful. All right, so I think it's good for today. So we get some good stuff. Thank you very much, everybody. So part one of our workshop is done. So we did full body, we get headshot, we get some lighting setups. And right now, we're gonna make a break till tomorrow. And tomorrow we're gonna continue with more advanced setup with a green screen right over there. And get a little bit more advanced stuff with the tattering and uh, computer stuff, all right? so. Stay with us, watch, watch Fashion Photography Channel.